Hey homies, this is Miss Andrea. Um, I'm a homeschool advocate, a director of a homeschool program, and an independent guidance counselor. Welcome to my channel. I want to continue our conversation about banned books, um, and today we're going to be talking about Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Huckleberry Finn is a classic American novel that was published in 1884. The novel tells the story of Huckleberry Finn, a young boy who runs away from home and embarks on a journey down the Mississippi River with an escaped slave named Jim. Along the way, Huck and Jim face many challenges, but they also learn a lot about themselves and each other. By the way, I read this book in fifth grade, so around 10 years old, um, in the late 1970s. So. Huckleberry Finn is a coming-of-age story that explores themes of childhood, innocence, and the importance of friendship. The novel is also a powerful indictment of racism and the evils of slavery. Huckleberry Finn is a young boy who lives with his abusive father, Pat Finn, in the town of St. Petersburg, Missouri. Huck is a mischievous boy who often gets into trouble, but he is also a kind and compassionate boy who has a strong sense of right and wrong. One day he runs away from home and meets an escaped slave named Jim. Jim is trying to make his way to freedom in the north and Huck agrees to help him. The two of them set off down the Mississippi River on a raft. Along the way, Huck and Jim face many challenges. They are chased by a group of criminals. They are caught in a storm. They are even separated at one point. However, they also learn a lot about themselves and each other. They learn about the importance of friendship, the evils of racism, and the power of love. In the end, Huck and Jim make it to the north, and Jim is reunited with his family. Huck is a changed boy after his journey, and he has learned to stand up for what he believes in, even when it is difficult. Huckleberry Finn is a classic American novel that has been praised for its humor, vivid characters, and a realistic portrayal of life in the 19th century. The novel has also been criticized for its use of racial slurs, but remains an important work of literature that continues to be read and studied today. Some of the themes that are explored in Huckleberry Finn include childhood and innocence, the importance of friendship, the evils of racism, the power of love, and the importance of fighting for freedom. So what exactly are people objecting to? Um, here's an example of the language in the book. They asked us considerable many questions, wanted to know what we covered up the raft that way for and laid in the daytime instead of running. Was Jim a runaway? Says I, goodness sakes, would a runaway run south? No, they allowed he wouldn't. I had to account for some things some way, so I says. My folks was living in Pike County in Missouri where I was born, and they all died off but me and Pa and my brother Ike. Pa, he loud he'd break up and go down and live with Uncle Ben, who's got a little one-horse place on the river, 44 miles below New Orleans. Pa was pretty poor and had some debts, so he'd squared up there, weren't nothing left but $16 in our gym. That wasn't enough to take us 1,400 mile deck passage, nor no other way. Well, when the river rose, Pa had a streak of luck one day. He catched this piece of raft, so we reckon he'd go down to Orleans on it. Pa's luck didn't hold out. A steamboat run over the forward corner of the raft one night. We all went overboard and dove under the wheel. But Pa was drunk, and Ike was only four years old so they never come up no more. Well, for the next day or two, we had considerable trouble because people was always coming out in skiffs and trying to take Jim away from me, saying they believed he was a runaway. We don't run daytimes no more now. Nights, they don't bother us. So, yeah, I can't make the word come out of my mouth. Uh, I remember when we read it in fifth grade, in Catholic school, I think we had to say the word out loud. Um, so it's definitely a book for a different time. 
and definitely different sensibilities. And from what I understand, there are still teachers who will say, well, I have to read this because it's an important book and it's in the book and they'll read it. And I, one of my nephews made a TikTok recently where he, you know, puts on this little wig and he's like, I'm going to read this word because it's in an important book and it's important work. And then she, <laughs> and then he started reading and said the N word so hard. And so that doesn't help my mind's eye when I'm reading this, it's remembering my nephew um, doing that skit. Anyway. So how is the book Huckleberry Finn an indictment of racism? Well, it shows the dehumanizing effects of slavery on both the enslaved and the enslavers. Second, it shows the hypocrisy of a society that claims to be founded on the principles of freedom and equality, while at the same time enslaving and oppressing a large portion of its population. Third, it shows the power of love and friendship to overcome prejudice and hatred. The novel is set in the 19th century when slavery was still legal in the United States. Huck Finn is a young white boy who befriends Jim, an enslaved black man. Huck learns to see Jim as a person, not just a slave, and he comes to believe that slavery is wrong. Huck's journey from racism to anti-racism is a powerful indictment of the institution of slavery. The novel also shows the hypocrisy of a society that claims to be founded on principles of freedom and equality while at the same time enslaving and oppressing a large portion of its population. Huck's father, Pap Finn, is a drunk who abuses Huck and Jim. Pap Finn is a symbol of the evils of racism and the hypocrisy of a society that claims to be founded on the principles of freedom and equality. Finally, the novel shows the power of love and friendship to overcome prejudice and hatred. Huck's friendship with Jim helps him to see Jim as a person, not just a slave. The friendship, the friendship helps Huck to overcome his own prejudices and to come to believe that slavery is wrong. Huck's friendship with Jim is a powerful reminder that love and friendship can overcome even the most difficult obstacles. So, what do you do if you really want to read this book or you really want your kids to read this book, um, but you don't want to hear the N-word come out of their mouths and you don't want to say the N-word? I read something today where someone pretty famous was saying that um, abridged versions of books are just as bad as book banning. However, for kids, because they can read it again when they're older, I strongly suggest um, some popular abridged versions of Huckleberry Finn. So if you are interested in reading an abridged version, I recommend that you do some research to find one that is appropriate for your child's age and reading level. So, is this a banned book? Yes, and not as much as I thought, though. Um, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn has been banned in schools and libraries across the United States, including Concord, Massachusetts in 1885, New York Public Library in 1905, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania in 2016, and the Burbank Unified School District in California in 2022. The book has been challenged to force use of racial slurs, um, which appears, the N-word specifically appears over 200 times in the text. Some people argue that the book is a classic work of American literature that should be taught in schools, even though it contains offensive language. Interestingly enough, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is not banned in Florida. Um, there have been some attempts to ban the book in Florida. In 2022, for example, a group of parents in Manatee County, Florida, petitioned the school board to remove the book from the curriculum. The parents argued that the book's use of racial slurs was offensive and harmful to students. The school board ultimately voted to keep the book in the curriculum but the controversy highlighted the ongoing debate about the role of literature in schools. Um, in addition to the adventures of Huckleberry Finn receiving some censorship in um, the United States to the point that the American Library Association has it on the list of the 100 most frequently challenged books in the United States. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about censored books and more specifically 
Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Also, um, I like to answer homeschool questions and college prep questions and college application questions. So if you have any of those, leave a comment and I will make a video about that. Until next time.